Enter the wolf time. Hello everybody, fellow YouTubers and hobbyists alike. Today we're going to be going further through the Space Wolf Codex, and we're going to be looking at Swift Claw Bikers. Now, Swift Claw Bikers, I don't really use them that much in my army, but I have got a few. These guys were originally intended to be Wolf Guard on bikes, hence the mishmash of different war gear and weapons and stuff that they've got. I only really find Swift Claws to be effective in really large numbers, because they're just too expensive to have like a group of like five or six guys because they just die pretty easily even with the uh, toughness that they have which is toughness five in shooting okay so without further ado let's look at my first guy this one was actually intended to be a wolf guard battle leader on a bike now as you can notice his bike is slightly larger than most space marine bikes what i did i used a chaos bike rather than the standard space marine one because they have the front forks exposed which means that i could easily elongate the front forks and add this wheel from a old orc war truck model now uh, what else have we got the uh, wolf head on here that's from a night goblin uh, spam uh, no night goblin wolf rider sprue. Uh, I liked it because it you know just adds, makes it look a bit more wolfy. Uh, we've got some decorated shields here with some runes on him. A uh, couple of bits of war gear. He's got his bolter there. He's got a bit of a melter bomb going on. Now I tried to get a really dynamic pose with this, hence it's off kilter slightly, and he's like leaning down. He's like, as he's about to like uh, chop someone's face off with his axe. The hair is actually sculpted with green stuff as well, and this guy actually uh, has quite a dark skin. I never ever got round to uh, lightening it up. Well, yeah, this is a pretty uh, decent model. He's actually been used as a wolf guard battle leader a few times, just on his own, running about, just chopping the crap out of things. Um, some nice little detailing on a little uh, computer panel there. Nice bit of uh, reflecting light going on. Yeah, that's uh, the first one. He's really like the leader of the pack. Okay, next one, which is this guy here. Uh, I wanted just had a, a random model just popping a wheelie or popping a sideways wheelie, so he's slightly angled and he's up like that. Now. Uh, his head is from a Chaos Marauder sp uh, Sprue, I believe, uh, for the Fantasy range. Um, just uh, some little bits here, like a little cloth flicking up, just to make it look like he's moving at speed. Uh, he's got a bit of an axe there, tied down with a bit of a green stuff uh, strap. Uh, his axe is the end of a normal Space Marine Power Axe, but I wanted it to look a bit more Viking, a bit more vicious looking, so I used, again, a bit of the Marauder Sprue to make it look here. This is actually a different attempt. I didn't use gradual shading, I just inked it, and the actual ink came off really nice on this. It's got, I don't know if you can see it too on here, there's like a really nice white edge, and it just looks like it's made out of like really, really blue ice or something. Okay, again, more detailing there. Right, the next guy <clears throat> is this one. This was really, really a random one. I tried to give the idea of having all of my Swift Claw bikers or Wolf Guard bikers to have this wolf head on the front, but this was the last one I actually had and it already stuck on. I didn't want to wreck the model by pulling it off and after filing shit down and stuff. Yeah, um, I really really couldn't be bothered with this model, so I just like, stuck loads of shields everywhere and stuff. You've got a bit of a scimitar going on there from a uh, Skeleton Warrior sprue. Uh, other than that, that's really it. What I wanted to do, I wanted to tie in with the Wolfguard markings, because the Wolfguard markings on the shoulder pads, on the old Metal Games Workshop ones that you could buy, which I've sadly run out of, um, they had like a, 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 I don't know what you call it, like a, a staggered triangle pattern, but what I wanted to do, because these are swift, swift claws, I decided to make it going sideways, you know, because obviously they're going to be going in that direction. So, just a bit of green stuff here, uh, painted white. Yep, okay, that's it for him. The next one I've got is this guy. This is probably my favourite guy because he's got a helmet. You know, safety first. This helmet is from a dwarf sprue. I've, I've not got a clue what kit it's from. I just found it in my bits box. But it fit perfectly on his head. Again, some green stuff hair. Looks a bit like uh, flat dreadlocks going on. He's got uh, a shield attached to him with some more runes on. With a sword. And it is uh, tied with a bit of green stuff rope around his um, around his back. Which I thought was really cool. Plus he's like driving to one side. He's like, you know, holding his gun out. He's like, yeah, drive by! Hell yeah! Uh, again, some little uh, uh, scrolly bits here to uh, make it look like it's going at speed. Uh, that's it for him. I do quite like him, though. Love his helmet. Yeah, there he is. Bit of a bionic eye going on there underneath his helmet as well. He learned from his last lesson where he came off his bike. Uh, and the next guy is this one. This is probably one of my favourites because I was experimenting with like a wolf pelt, trying to make it look like it's flapping behind him. And I did it so here, and I think this looks really, really good. Uh, makes him look like he's going about 100 mile an hour. Bit of a sword there sticking out. Looks like he's about to run somebody down, chop him up. Uh, the actual wolf pelt around his shoulders 
it's as if it was tucked into his uh, collar or whatever you'd call it, where his armor, where his, where his armor joins his neck, kind of thing. What I had to do this, I had to do this in two stages. I had to sculpt, just put a lot of blob of green stuff here, and then up here like that, uh, and then I had to let it cure. However, because it kept flopping down, <laughs> flopping, uh, I had to hold it upside down. I actually had to put it in my vise and leave it that way for overnight, so it bent upwards. And then what I did, I just put a little layer of green stuff over the top and then sculpted fur into it. Uh, that's for him. He's actually got a tiny little necklace there as well, which I made. The little rune on there is uh, made out of green stuff, and there's another little rune there. He had another one, but it broke off. Again, the green stuff rope is just two th thin strands of green stuff just twisted together. Let it cure for a little bit, glue it on, job done. Okay. Right. The next one, which is the final one, is this guy here. Now, I quite like this guy because he's just got one lightning claw. Now, uh, he's the only model in my army that features one lightning claw that either run with just one or two. Because two is better, but one just looks cool. Because he's like scraping low to the ground, looks like he's about to give someone an uppercut to the face and uh, give him some nice uh, scratches. Uh, again, we've got the uh, green stuff shoulder pads that I did on these. Uh, he's got a bit of a cape. This cape is from the Knights of the White Wolf pack, if I'm getting that right, I don't know, if anyone wants to clarify that, please do. Again, uh, more green stuff hair sculpted. I tried to get it very similar to um, this guy here, which I think the hair on that one's better, but the colour on that one's better. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Also, we got some green stuff here, uh, with green stuff fur, just wrapped around his arm. Again, making it look like he's travelling at a bit of speed. Uh, a bit of a chain here, I don't know why I stuck that on, that was a bit of a random moment, I think. Uh, yeah, that's him. Uh, that's really uh, it for my uh, Swift Claw bikers. Oh, one thing uh, you might have noticed on uh, where, where is he gone? On this guy, his base is slightly longer than some of the others. And that's because I actually ran out of the biker bases. Uh, this was a random bike that I just had in my bits box, but no base for it. Don't know where it went. It vanished. So I had to, do, I had to use a normal uh, cavalry base, if that's what they're called, and then two of the slotter bases just chopped off and used the slightly larger half on either side. Uh, that was just filled in with green stuff around there. And to be fair, at a glance, you can't really notice it. And yeah. Da -da -da. These are my Swift Claw bikers. What I like to do sometimes, like if they're like on, on my shelf or something, I like to uh, put them in like a big formation like that. Just to make it look like, you know, yeah, we're riding with the pack. Okay, everybody. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you again soon. Goodbye.